What's going on everybody and welcome back to the St. Thomas Dynasty here on NCAA 14. This is your boy John Jake Gaming on the mic and today we are here in Osh Hall Stadium hosting the SMU Mustangs who currently sit at 3-3. Three three. We're cert currently 5-1 overall in that American West Championship hunt when that division gives us the opportunity to go to the championship game and we're in the thick of it. So let's see if we can keep pace with the other teams in the American West. Hit that like button, hit subscribe if you have to be new. Let's go ahead and hop into this ball game, shall we? Alright man, we get the ball first to set the tone and I am super stoked for it. Love getting the fall first and getting that momentum going as Lucas Coley. They thought they had us in the backfield, but Coley found some space elsewhere. Picked up some additional yards, man. As, you know, we're playing a team that's sitting about 500 right now, but we can't take these guys for granted. As we're playing a squad from the American Conference, it's not like the MAC, you know. This is a different animal that we are currently dealing with. As now, first and 10. Coley, another tough run up the middle. We're going to go to him early and often. He's already got a few carries for 20 yards. And we might go to him a fourth time. Let's see what they go with. No, it's a fake to Noah Brooks. Able to slice and dice upfield for the first town. Nearly was able to bounce right back up, but that was simply not the case. Still a first down, though, for the Tommy's offense. As we'll now do our first pass play of the day. Throwing in a tight window to Tyreek Miller going for a gain of 17. As now, sitting in SMU territory, we got some work to do. First and 10, throw into the center. Alex Garcia making the catch up the middle. Leaving that center wide open, we will gladly take that, no problem. And now we got a second and short coming up. Let's see if we can pick up the first down right here. As we'll try to throw over the middle to Isaiah Thomas. He makes the catch only for a few yards, but first down is a first down. We'll get him more involved eventually as we try to force feed him. And we throw an interception. This time, looks like it's a defensive lineman that just came out of nowhere to make that play. No, it's Dante Conker was the man that made that interception. And just like that, it ends St. Thomas's hopes as we cut back over to the SMU offense. They start with pretty nice field position. Actually going to float it over to the right-hand side, over to Josh Harvey, who does make the catch and takes one of our guys out for a ride as well. First and 10 coming up for the Mustangs as they quickly get up to the line of scrimmage. Missing multiple tackles before Billy Ewing finally gets in there. Makes a play, thank goodness. As SMU is already in the red zone, they look to strike first. Second and six, a quick first down over to Mike Newby. Thankfully, it looks like uh, Jesus Shuttleworth was there to make the tackle. Is now first and goal. Look at this. We got ourselves a little glitch, and we were able to take advantage of it. Scott Ashley decides to just sit there and smell the roses, apparently. Forgot to actually move, you know, the ball forward. As, you know, we'll take advantage of that for now, but Scott Ashley does get them to the line of scrimmage. And we'll now have third and goal coming up here for the Mustangs. As Ashley will drop back the pass, trying to throw it to the end zone, and he gets it over the head of Dale Garrison. Touchdown Mustangs, and they will strike first in this ball game. SMU taking a 7-0 lead, and now we'll need an answer from St. Thomas. We were looking good on the first drive. Only problem was we threw an interception close to the red zone. We simply can't do that in this conference. They will take advantage of it if we make mistakes like that. As we cut to second and two, Brooks dropping back. Going to throw short to Lucas Coley, who's able to make a man miss and is able to get out of bounds at close to midfield. Lucas Coley using that elite break tackling ability to get to the outside and make some great yards as there's another broken tackle. Coley is a very shifty dude for being known as a power back. A guy that can truck somebody and can break tackles too. That's a pretty special combination right there as that's another first down for Coley. As now, first and ten. Brooks going to hand off to Coley once again. Going to slice and dice up the middle. Another gain of 14 yards. Coley having himself a field day already with 50 yards early on this first quarter. 
as now we'll get Mike Haynes involved. The longtime reserve running back has been around for five years, been around for some bad days at St. Thomas. As we get to the third and one, we're stopped short at the line of scrimmage. Will Stewart was able to get in there and make the play. That's how this first quarter is going to end, man. We're up, we're down, excuse me, seven to nothing. We're used to winning. But um, right now, we have a seven point deficit that we need to overcome. All right, man. We're going to go bold to start the second quarter, man. We are going to go for it as Jamie Smith going to fight forward and barely get the first down. We are going to go into no huddle right away because we don't know if we got it. Don't want to risk it for the biscuit necessarily as we'll call a quick screen. Coley into the end zone. Touchdown, Tommies. As Lucas Coley finds the end zone for the first time today through the air nonetheless. As SMU actually goes free and out on their next drive as well. So we can strike back quickly and make this a one possession lead for us all of a sudden. As Coley does uh, pick up six yards off of the little slant pattern. And now we'll go up the middle to Alex Garcia. He makes the catch and will move the chains for us for a first down. So now first and ten. Brooks in the shotgun. He's going to drop back. Going to throw a dart over the middle to Tyreek Miller. What a throw by Noah Brooks. He's able to fit that through a very tight window. As now, Brooks going to look around. Going to find Lucas Coley doing a little bit of a scramble drill. Very good play to not force it up the field. Not to mention we still get that first down. Brooks starting to learn from his mistakes, man. As we throw to Allen, he takes a shot. That's some tight double coverage, but still able to make the catch. Adrian Allen had to gain a six yards on the play. As we'll cut to a couple plays later. Third and two coming up. Brooks going to hand it off to Lucas Coley, who's able to fight forward for another first down. First and goal coming up. As we're having some difficulties getting to the end zone, hopefully the third time is the charm. And it might just be as Noah Brooks has the space. Touchdown, Tommies. As Noah Brooks finds the end zone himself, we took the lead. Let's see what our defense can do on the next drive. Last possession, we got a free and out. Let's see if we can do it two plays in a row. As it's another glitch on this SMU quarterback. Scott Ashley just having some bad luck or the game is finally rewarding us. Usually, we're the ones getting cheese, but this time around, you know, they're cheesing SMU. But we're certainly not going to complain when it's going for us. As now, third and two. Let's see if we can get him off the field once again. Scott Ashley going to hand it off. No, he's going to fake it. He's going to run for the first down marker and is successful. Antoine Black was eventually able to get in there and make the tackle. But their drive will still continue as we miss some tackles. We had him bottled up, but we got to finish the play. That's, good. That's the difference between a good team and a great team as there's another first down for the Mustangs, courtesy of Andrew Ewing. So now, first and 10 in St. Thomas territory, going to drop back to pass. Scott Ashley, he's going to throw to the left-hand side, finding his big body receiver in Stephon Dixon, going for a gain of six yards off the short pattern. As SMU isn't really throwing it deep necessarily. They're trying to do the fouls and cuts strategy to try to you know, win the battle for uh, you know, time of possession. But so far, the edge is going to us as we face a third and four. It's going to be a screen. Can Black get there in time? No, we can't. We can't wrap him up in time. Corey Johnson does eventually get him out of bounds. That is very devastating to take in, though. As now, second and ten, another shot. This time to Mike Newby, but Matt Blade lays down the lumber. Doesn't remove the ball, though, so the pass will be counted as completed. As we got him to another third down, hopefully this time we can have better luck of actually getting these guys off the field. And it looks like that won't be the case because Scott Ashley, he's got some space. Jared Scott had to come in there and make the tackle eventually. But, you know, it's another first down once again. You know, just opportunities to get him off the field as we blow up that play. You know, first and second down isn't really the issue. It's these, like, third down plays. 
But this time it won't even happen on a third down because Marcus Pennington finds the end zone. Another touchdown for the Mustangs as it ties things up at 14. So here we go. Three timeouts, 41 seconds left in this first half. Let's see if we can make something shake here. First play, going to be a play up the middle to Damian Hudson the third. Off the slants, picks up 12 yards. Nice job. Is now first and 10 again. Another throw up to, this time to Alex Garcia, but is broken up by Kellen Newton. So, I mean, we're still good. We're still good. Just got to finish this second and 10. As we're looking around desperately, and we get sacked in the backfield. Lost of 10 yards there. I don't know why St. Thomas took the timeout. We could have just taken it to the locker room. But instead, it's going to be a run up the gut for Lucas Coley. And SMU calls a timeout. Very, that's not how necessarily you want to end a first half. So with 20 seconds left, they can take the lead here. We got to make sure we do what we can to prevent that. As Bowie Ewing can make a tackle once again. Nothing happens till he gets out of bounds. And it saves the clock for now. Otherwise, you know, this half would essentially be over. Instead, 12 seconds left. Ashley sends it deep, finds Andrew Ewing for 33 yards. They will settle for a field goal, but that is a terrible way to end this first half. SMU is up by a field goal, second half coming up. All right, fellas, welcome back to the second half of the St. Thomas versus SMU game. SMU will start with the ball first to begin the second half as it goes to Stephon Dixon. That goes for a gain of eight on the play. Second and short now coming up. Be interested to see if they run it. Not necessarily, but it's a halfback screen. Berg's got plenty of spaces. Buster Porter comes in there last seconds. Gets that super dive needed to bring him down for right now. As now, first and ten. Ashley looking. Going to try to throw it to the curl route. As somehow Mike Newby comes down with that. We lay down the lumber, but nobody actually is out here trying to make a tackle. Wow, these first downs a little too easily for my liking. As there's another first down. Speaking of, this time to the right-hand side. And it's Matt Josh Harvey making the catch. Okay, so a couple plays later, Scott Ashley's going to drop back once again. Finding Pennington, who is wrapped up quickly, but again... Another completion that goes for a first down. SMU moving this ball steadily. Probably their best drive all day today. And it will be capped off with a touchdown as Kevin Carter is burnt by Michael Davis and his blazing speed. SMU extends this thing to 10 points as St. Thomas will need to respond in the next drive. All right, man. Y'all know what we need to do. We got to get the job done. Second and nine, Brooks looking around, going to find Isaiah Thomas, a tight window, but it's nearly a first down, they're going to mark us one inch shy, and so we're going to go with, no, we're actually going to go ahead and uh, try to pass it here as third and inches, Brooks looking around, going to try to throw it to Adrian Allen, he's able to pick up the first down, gain of six yards on the play, first and ten now coming up for the Tommies. As let's see if we can string together another nice play. We find Isaiah Thomas again. That's another first down. We're already in SMU territory. And you know we don't need to score a touchdown here. We do need to come away with points however. As Lucas Coley gets another tough run up the gut. That goes for 7 yards. Coley man you know he got a lot of action in the first quarter. And then ever since we kind of went away from him. Be interesting to see if we go back to Coley more often here in the second half. As there's another run, this time for Noah Brooks off of the read option. Nice 10-yard gain on that one. And then we'll throw to Adrian Allen. He's more wide open, but naked open as Parham Crow would always say. Another first down for the Tommies as we're pushing forward. See if we can get this touchdown here. As we're looking around desperately, just going to throw it away there. Don't need to risk it for the biscuit necessarily. Noah Brooks, man, like I said early in the season, I said don't you don't have to win the game for us. Don't be the reason you lose. As Brooks, going to try to scramble for the first down. He gets it in a little bit more. We're inside the five-yard line. We're about to make this a one-possession game here. As we'll go ahead, hike it to Jamie Smith. He's in there. Touchdown, Tommies. As Jamie Smith, the fullback, 
Turn half back up running back. Turn back up tight end. He finds the end zone. We're only down by a field goal now. Let's see if we can take care of business though for our defense as they get another promising run up the left hand side. Berg breaking some more tackles than a basketball player just dropping ankle breakers. As now it's a first and ten. Now sitting on the 45 yard line for SMU. But we forced him back a little bit as Matt Wade able to read that perfectly. Loss of four yards. Let's see if we can keep that up as Ashley will try to drop back the pass. He nearly gets sacked. He's going to bring up field. Going to try to pass it. Billy Ewing was there on the coverage though and provides us with an incompletion. So here we go. Third and 14 here. Don't let anybody behind us. Ashley going to try to do the halfback screen, but we are so ready for it. Forcing Roderick Berg out of bounds. They got to punt it back to us. So let's see if we can re-establish the lead here as we'll go ahead and go back to Lucas Coley. If it's not broke, why fix it? As Coley did some tough running for us right there, man. A gain of five yards on the play. As now, second and five. Brooks going to try to pass it up the middle, but it's deflected. You don't see that very often. Must be because he's a left-handed quarterback. As now, third and five. Brooks dropping back to pass gonna try to throw it to the middle he's gonna pick up the first down gain of nine yards on that play keeping that thing rolling man as that is how this third quarter is going to end we're down by three points but we think we can finish strong fourth quarter is coming up very shortly let's see if we can get the job done let's get it all right, boys, second quarter is officially underway. Brooks going to pass it out to Alex Garcia. He's going to pick up a gain of eight yards on the play. Another, you know, nice little play right there, third and short. And, you know, since it's third and short, don't want to be cute. Just get it to Lucas Coley. He'll pick up the first. He's a tough dude. Next play. Now, Noah Brooks is in the shotgun. He's going to drop back. He's going to try to throw to the right-hand side. Oh, that is such a bad pass. We had Alex Garcia for good yards and just threw it way short. Just not a, didn't get a good grip on the ball. And now we're facing a third and long all of a sudden. We certainly don't want to settle without any points. We got to pick up this first down as third and ten. Brooks going to throw over the middle. He finds Hudson the third for a first down. Keep that thing rolling. Is now first and ten. Coley gonna pick up some more yards on the ground. For some reason, had the pitch man way up front of us. Good thing we didn't accidentally press that pitch button. Who knows what would have happened? As uh, we're, we're looking pretty nice here. Second and one. Jamie Smith gets us into the red zone. We were pretty close to the red zone in the very first possession of this game. It was an interception that we threw. When we were down here, we can't have that same result, obviously. So we're going to go to Lucas Coley again. He picks up another eight yards. A promising drive continuing to roll down this field. Plus, we're getting time off this clock. But we got a third and short once again. Let's finish. Brooks up the middle. He's going to fight forward for the first down. We're going to instantly get up uh, to the troops to the line real quick. Get into this five wide out set. So we'll go to Hudson the third. He nearly gets into the end zone, but we get swallowed up a little bit by the famed one-yard line monster. So now let's see if Coley can finish the job for us as we'll hike it to him. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Tommies. As Lucas Coley gets us in once again. So now we hold a three-point lead. We get a stop on this drive. This game is essentially over. Ashley throwing over in the middle to Summers. He's going to pick up the first down. It's all good, though. We just need one play. One play is all we need, and this game is absolutely over. As now we go to a couple of weeks later, third and six. Going to try to throw it to Thomas. He hits another first down, gain of 15 yards. Another first down for the Mustangs. They're determined to win this game as well. As we have a couple of tackles broken. Now he's got the blocks and none of us can get to him. 
What a terrible way to give up a touchdown as we had Pat Summers bottled up. And now we're down by free once again. Starting back from square one, man. First and ten coming up. As now, Brooks looking around, going to try to throw it to Hudson the third. It's a tight window. First down. Got to go into the no huddle, but we don't have that much time. Plus, if we can save timeouts, let's do that. As we find Hudson the third again. This time, he's even more open and picks up even more yards for us. It's a gain of 17. As now, moving up to the line of scrimmage quickly. Brooks in the shotgun. Going to find Alex Garcia, but it's broken up. Alex Garcia taking a shot in the process. We're certainly glad that he's okay and will decide to remain in the ball game. As now, second and ten. Finds Pablo Sanchez, the newest custom recruit in the receiving core. Gain of 17 yards, man. But we got a third and eight here. We got we to gotta finish this. We go to the right-hand side. We have Tyreek Miller. He's going to... Oh, he almost makes it to the end zone. Just a few yards shy. And I feel pretty good about running some clock. Only 20 seconds left. Let's punch it in. Coley into the end zone. Touchdown, Tommies. Lucas Coley. Getting, I think it's his first touchdown today. He's absolutely been on fire. So now 18 seconds left. It all comes to this. Scott Ashley dropping back. Going to get it to Davis, who does pick up another first down. Gain of 14 on the play. As the SMU will also use a timeout. So let's see. Ashley dropping back again. This time going to try to go over the middle. Billy Ewing nearly gets the interception. Could have ended the game for us, but SMU still has a glimmer of hope. As Ashley will throw to the middle over to his star receiver, Mike Newby. Sitting at the 45-yard line, so a decent position to call the Hail Mary. The game is going to be determined by this play alone. As Ashley dropping back. Going to send one deep. Can somebody get there? No, it's deflected away. Kevin Carter was there on the coverage, and that's going to seal this game. St. Thomas is going to walk away, nearly being upset, but finding a way to get the job done at the end of the day. Your final score is St. Thomas 35, SMU 31. What an exciting game and a great performance for both teams, but St. Thomas finds a way to come out on top once again. So checking out the scoring summary for our guys and from the jump you know it was a you know pretty defensive battle first quarter you know couldn't really get much going and then you know after that it was back and forth man you know just kind of trading scores the entire game man and uh you know we're finally able to quench it with that game winning score with 17 seconds remaining and get that dub checking out the stats for our guys though and noah brooks had a solid game 279 yards a score and a pick on the first drive but after that played so much better 25 for 35 as well can't complain about that running game though lucas coley had another century mark day he had 106 yards and two touchdowns on the ground noah brooks and jamie smith were also able to get into the end zone as well brooks had 27 yards off 10 carries and jamie smith only had four yards but receiving court today, we had Damian Hudson III, a custom recruit for us from Clemson, South Carolina. Lead the team in both receptions as well as yards. He had six catches for 71 yards today. The only person to get into the end zone through the air, though, was Lucas Coley. He got into the end zone from Noah Brooks. He had four carries for 47 yards. And then finally, this defense, you know, was, you know, didn't force any turnovers, but we did what we had to do. The team was led by Jim Smith today. He had six total tackles on, in today's game with a TFL. Jesus Sotoworth, Corey Johnson, and Zach Bones each all had five tackles to their name as well. And, you know, we didn't get any sacks or anything like that. But, hey, once again, we were able to get that job done, and that's all that matters. So next episode, we will go on the road to play against Tulsa in you know very decent squad b minus b minus c plus what we got c b minus c on our side kirk will roll with us for the next game but look at the schedule for saint thomas over the last you know quarter of this season man you know we do have tulsa which will be a tune-up for us then we play against memphis houston and tulane 
all teams that we are in the hunt for to win the American West. It's going to be a really interesting last, you know, four or five games of the season, man. Definitely don't want to miss it. If you enjoy the content on this channel, though, make sure you smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you're new. This is John J. Gaming on the mic, hoping that you all have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.